Commander. Not as smooth a ride as I would have hoped for. Did the portal fail? We're definitely not in the tomb anymore. It took us somewhere, but... No sign of the gods nor our companions. We're off to a great start. They were right beside us when we entered the portal. It can't be far. There you are, Commander. Can you believe it? Can you believe where we are right now? I can't keep my hands from trembling. Meeting the gods. Can you imagine? Hold it together for me, Kaz. Oh, let her have her fun. She's about to meet her makers, after all. And trust me, it's a memorable experience. And we still have to find them. Any idea where we should go? The stories didn't mention anything beyond the portal. Only that it was a passage to the mists. Too, huh? After a trifling inconvenience, yes. So, this is it. We're in the mists. Deep within them. I'd know this feeling anywhere. Like cold water running down my spine. <sighs> Looks like the human gods are playing games with us. localized. Do you suppose it's hiding something? Beautiful. Look, Sandstorm's gone away. Let's see what it was hiding. I don't. It's the sigil of the Sun Spears, a symbolic representation of the eight virtues they most revered. We are meant to walk this. What have you got there, Commander? This plate has some kind of markings etched on it. And there's more of them carved into the stone platform as well. Perhaps they're meant to go together? Only one way to find out. Sounded promising. There must be more pieces of this puzzle lying around.
Missing pieces of the puzzle. What if those spirits are a part of it? Let's ask the spirits. Maybe they're here to help.
The torch lit up. You must have done something right, Commander. Well, the disc fits, but the markings don't seem to line up. Hmm. Try giving it a turn or two. Look, a portal. So, Kazmir, when we meet more of your gods, I hope they're a little less hostile than the last one we met. With our luck, I bet they're as crazy as Balthazar is. Stop it, both of you. We're here for answers, and spitting in the face of the gods isn't going to help us get them. Show some respect. She's right. 
If Balthazar demonstrated anything, it's that the gods aren't to be taken lightly. Let's tread carefully here. We don't know who's watching. Huh? This must be Cormir. Hail to you, goddess of truth. We need your help. Kaz, go ahead. I... Uh, thank you, Commander. Goddess Cormir, we have come to you seeking guidance and aid in dark times. Will you hear our plea? Rise, Lady. Please, continue. Balthazar has emerged from the mist to bring ruin to Tyria. He's going to slay Krokatoric, and if he succeeds, the imbalance it brings could... You... You know all of this already, don't you? Indeed. We cannot defeat him on our own. For the sake of Tyria, Goddess Cormir, please, we beg your aid. I'm sorry, Lady Me. There is nothing I can do. I... Uh, please excuse me, Goddess. Uh, perhaps I wasn't clear. We can't hope to defeat Balthazar without the aid of the Six. Or the Five. Balthazar is one of the Six. No. He isn't. Balthazar has been stripped of his claim and title. He is no longer one of the Six. Stripped of? He's in Tyria as we speak, leading an army. He claims to be the god of war. Come and see for yourselves. Perhaps then you'll understand. Even the gods saw there could be no victory in our inevitable conflict with the Elder Dragons. Waging war with them could only lead to the destruction of Tyria. And we, the Six, would be the match that would start the blaze. And so, we chose to withdraw from Tyria altogether and spare this world further calamity. Or rather, most of us chose to. Cowards! You, you may flee, but I will not. I, I do not avoid conflict. I am conflict! The Elder Dragons will die by my hands, and their power will become my power! Balthazar was blinded by his pride. The dragons are beyond even the gods, a raw, primal force without equal. Whether he won or lost, by his death or theirs, Balthazar's ambitions would bring about the end of Tyria. The rest of the six, Duena, Brenth, Melandru, even Lyssa, reached an agreement. Balthazar had to be dealt with. If, if you won't join the fight against the Dragons, I'll see you all burn with them.
we stripped him of his power and chained him in the mists. There he would remain, forever. Powerless to carry out his plans. Mark these words. When I'm free, I will strike you all down and claim your power for my own. But I will not be dismissed. I am Balthazar, mightiest of the six. And I swear to you, you will scream your allegiance above he would be there now, if not for a certain char and his search for an old, extinguished blade. Yeah, um, sorry about that. Undo this wrong. The means are within your grasp. When he returned to this world, Balthazar disguised himself as Lazarus with Lissa's mirror, the only magic powerful enough to hide the truth from our eyes. By the time the ruse was revealed, the other gods had already departed. And soon, I will join them. You don't have to go. You could stay. Fight with us. You ask for a war between the do you not know the cost of such a battle? Have you not learned of the last time the gods stood against one of their own? Against Abaddon? Thirteen hundred years ago, Abaddon and his army of fanatics waged a war ranging across the shores and islands of the Crystal Sea. The battle was so ferocious that the ocean boiled away leaving behind the desert you see today. When the gods finally struck down Abaddon, his fall warped and ravaged these lands, creating the desolation. Abaddon remained a fallen god, imprisoned for a thousand years, until you rose to threaten Tyrion one last time. A mortal hero led a mission to stop him, and against all odds, succeeded. But then... Abaddon is breaking up! Incredible! All that knowledge! It's running wild! It will destroy everything! I can contain the power! Vermeer! No! I was there to contain the damage, but by then it was too late. The surge of power upended the balance of magic interior and stirred Primordus from his slumber, triggering this latest cycle of destruction. There is no victory to be found in a war between the gods. Only casualties. I understand. But we don't have the choice you have. We have to fight. Balthazar doesn't care whether he destroys Tyria. He said so himself. Please, Goddess. If there's any way we can convince you to stay... No, Kaz. This isn't their war. It's ours. Kazmir. My dear child. You never needed our help. You are already on the path. Follow the trail of last. Restore what has been broken. The answers you seek are in the desert. I wish you good fortune, Commander. It's time. I must join the others. That is Cormier before you go. Yes. Thank you, for everything. You carry with you the blessings of all the gods. Never forget that. So we can 
came all this way just to watch her leave? Kaz, are you alright? Just... processing, Commander. What Cormier said. I was angry, confused, but it's time we stand on our own. Tyria is ours to protect. I know that now. So, what now? Are we to comb the desert for a clue? Because As it's my purpose. destiny. There's a lot of desert. If that's what it takes, yes. You heard Cormir. We're on our own from here on out. So we search the desert. But we do it smart. We'll split up and search systematically. Can do. I'd like to return to the Temple of Cormir anyway. The refugees there may have information we can use. And I've got some news to share with them, too. Good. Canuck? I'll head for the desert near Amnu. I may also check in with my contacts in the Order of Shadows. To shed some light on Ridlock, go with him. I'll take the Riverlands to the south. Let's work our contacts, speak with the scouts. Anybody who might be able to help us in our search. About that, what are we searching for exactly? The way forward. That's all I've got at the moment. <laughs> Let's just get to it. It's my destiny.
One challenge down.
Now it's time to move on.